if the lattice rectum subtends a right angle at the center of the hyperbola x square upon a square minus y square upon b square is equal to 1 then find its eccentricity so given here the standard form of hyperbola whose x-axis is transverse axis and y-axis is conjugate axis so let us consider the foci one of the foci is a e comma zero and we know that the line segment joining are passing through the foci and perpendicular to the transverse axis is a lattice rectum say p and q is the line lattice rectum pq let pq denotes the lattice rectum and since we know that the length of lattice rectum is 2b square upon a so consider the point p a e comma b square upon a and q point a e comma minus b square upon a such that p q is equal to 2 b square upon a o is the center of the hyperbola or is in 0 comma 0 and it is given that the lattice rectum subtends a right angle at the center of the hyperbola lattice rectum subtends right angle at the center of the hyperbola so which means that angle p over q is equal to 90 degrees o is the center of hyperbola given that angle p o q is equal to 90 degrees or pi by 2 we can say lattice rectum subtends a right angle at the center so which implies that op is perpendicular to oq so which implies that slope of op line segment joining o and p into slope of oq which is equal to minus 1 since they are perpendicular so slope of op can be taken It r is in 0 comma 0 and the point p is a e comma b square upon a so slope of op can be taken b square upon a minus 0 upon a e minus 0 into slope of oq q is a point a e comma minus b square upon a so we can write minus b square upon a minus 0 upon a e minus 0 which is equal to minus 1 or we can write here b square upon a whole square minus times upon a e whole square which is equal to minus 1 so this can also be written b power 4 upon a power 4 into 1 upon a square e square is equal to sorry b, for, b power 4 upon a square this is into 1 upon a square a square is equal to plus 1 since we know that b square is equal to a square of e square minus 1 or b power 4 is equal to a power 4 of e square minus 1 whole square so we can add b power 4 as a power 4 of e square minus 1 whole square upon a square into a square is a power 4 into e square which is equal to 1 so we can cancel this a power 4 and hence we have e square minus 1 whole square is equal to e square so let us consider e square is equal to some alpha so that we can get alpha minus 1 whole square is equal to alpha which implies that alpha square minus 2 alpha plus 1 minus alpha is equal to 0 that is alpha square minus 3 alpha plus 1 equals to 0 so by solving this equation we will have alpha is equal to minus b that is 3 plus or minus under root of b square minus 4 ac that is 9 minus 4 that is 5 upon 
2 into 1 2 a so alpha is equal to 3 plus or minus root 5 upon 2 so here alpha is nothing but e square therefore e square is equal to 3 plus or minus root 5 upon 2 so let us find the square root of it so 1 upon 2 so 3 plus plus or minus root 5 let us multiply and divide with 2 again 1 upon 4 times of 6 plus or minus 2 root 5 so which implies that so let me write here e square is equal to 1 upon 4 times of 6 we can write it as root 5 whole square plus 1 square and here plus or minus 2 root 5 into 1 so which is in the form of a square plus b square plus 2ab or minus 2ab that is 1 upon 4 times of root 5 plus or minus 1 whole square that is e square e is equal to 1 by 2 root 5 plus 1 or we can add e is equal to root 5 minus 1 upon 2 so here root 5 minus 1 upon 2 is less than 1 for hyperbola eccentricity must be greater than 1 so let us consider so 1 by 2 of root 5 plus 1 therefore eccentricity is equal to 1 by 2 of root 5 plus 1 is the answer okay